Okay, everyone. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Welcome to oh, the worst tutorial you're ever going to see. I have started this like four or five times. Um, and I've messed up every time because I just, I really suck at tutorials. So, so hey, if you're here, just, you know, just be prepared. I'm warning you. This is, this is really going to be a boring tutorial. Uh, this is a s lesson two in a series of tutorials I'm doing. And basically it's just, I'm just going to show you how to set up your first project, um, and import files, the difference between importing and linking. Okay. So when you're setting up your project, um, you have a root folder that you're going to be seeing. As you can see, there's no projects that show up here, right? So if you click on your root folder, um, as you can see on my hard drive, there are projects, but these are just kind of extra folders that I've created so that I can, you know, work on multiple projects on one hard drive and have Avid inside there. So inside Union College, you have Avid, and then I have a bunch of different projects here. So if I said open, then I could click on one of these um, and open that. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to um, create a new project here and say, I suck at tutorials. That's it. And you're going to want to set your format. Um, Avid gives you a lot of different options. You can even create custom ones. I have a few. So I have like a 4K widescreen. Um, you know, HD square, uh, for like social media and things like that. Or you can just do 4k regular ultra HD, all these fun ones you can see for yourself. Let's do 1080 P 2997. Done. Okay. So what you'll notice right away is that inside your hard drive, um, it's already created a whole project for you. I suck at tutorials. Um, you can even create a new project. Mm. Um, I like myself. This is what, uh, my dad used to make me say in front of the mirror when I was a kid, like 10 times. I like myself. I like, okay. So then you can see it's there, right? Oh, really great. It's like magic. So let's open the, I suck at tutorials project. And, um, you can see in here that it's created the first bin already for you. And, um, bins are great. And folders are great. Um, a lot of times I'll create a folder that says footage and then put that bin inside the folder. And yeah, let's just name the bin my crappy footage. Really, really feeling optimistic today. Okay, so here's your crappy footage. And um, as you can see, that everything you've done here has reflected over here. So you have a footage folder, my crappy footage. And as you can see also, um, let me just, I'll just show you. So when you're working on a project with somebody, uh, they're gonna share uh, bins with you, right? So for example, let's look at these cuts. Um, somebody has this bin, I'm just gonna copy and paste that. They're like, hey, Andy, I want to share this with you. I can just put it in my project. And then like magic, it shows up. There it is. And then when I delete it, it'll also delete from there and so forth. Really exciting. Okay, so now you have your project set up. Now it's time to import footage. How are you going to do that? Well, you have a few options. You can either link it like you do in Adobe Premiere, or you can import that in. And what the, that means is when you import files in, Avid has an Avid Media Files folder that has to stay in the root of your hard drive. Sorry guys, that's the way it is. I like it because it's simple. Okay, so it's Avid Media Files, MXF, and then it has a bunch of numbers here for folders, and that's where it imports. When you import a new file in, it's always going to bring it in here and to create a one folder, and then you can, create, you can create new numbers and drop things in there. So if you have different projects like 101, 102, 10, you know, 301, whatever. Okay, I will show you what I mean. Let's say import media. And then nature, maroon bells. Yeah, let's do this file. Okay, so you're when you go to import it in, you don't want to just say 
open. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your settings are correct when you're doing this. So, so assuming that the resolution is what you set your project to and all that other stuff, um, you can choose your codec. So DNX HD 145 is a good codec, XDCAM EX 35 if you're working with like, you know, 5D Mark II footage or 50, um, whatever it is, ProRes LT, that's always a good one, proxies. Um, I'm just going to stick with this. And then you have your options. Uh, you can not resize smaller images. So if your footage is, say, 720, it's going to keep it small. Or you can size it for the current format. Um, yeah. Use source files resolution. Or you can import resolution. Um, there you go. Yeah, I don't know all these, but whatever. Let's just see what happens here. Oh, and your hard drive. You want to make sure you set that. So if you have other hard drives on, you can do that. Now we'll show you right away when you click import on your hard drive. It's going to create a one folder just like that. And then as you can see, it's importing here. The drawback to this is it takes a long time to import. So if you have a whole project, um, you're going to want to set that to run overnight. You can I think run it in the background too, but I don't. I don't like doing that. I prefer just to import overnight and then like magic, it's all there in the morning. Okay, so it's created that file inside this folder as you can see. Okay, now here it is up here. Beautiful. Um, you'll notice that when you import it in, things run a lot smoother. You can scroll back and forth really quick and just make a lot of quick edits, whereas AMA oftentimes isn't as fast. Okay, but let me show you the difference between AMA and this. Hi, that's a sequence. Okay, so let's go to Source Browser instead of Import Media and go find that same file, which... You know, I, I'm going to include that file here for you, just so you can have it. Maroon Bells. I think it's that one, right? Is that right? Yeah, HD. And I'm going to say link. Before you link, you can change the settings too. And that's basically um, the most notably the center crop. So if you're importing in, say, a 4K file into an HD project, this is how your project's gonna read that and kind of deal with your file. Does that make sense? Yeah, it might be too advanced. To... We're not gonna worry about it. Okay, we're gonna link it. And here it is, the difference between linked and imported so here's your linked file and the icon that it looks like right and um you know it's working okay and here's your actual file and if you right click on this and say reveal file you can see it's the linked file here nice and then if you right click on this and say reveal file it is the mxf file that it's imported now, why would you use different ones? Um, I mean, it just depends on the project you're working on, um, how you're doing it. If you're doing proxies, they're gonna be in here. Um, if you're working on a shared project with somebody, importing files is uh, the easiest way to do it um, because you can share files really easily and it's all in one central area. It's real nice. Um, I don't know, lots of different reasons to import. I like importing. But yeah, that's it. Um, okay, I'm not gonna get too much further. I think that's the basics of importing files here and getting your project set up. Um, the difference the difference between linking and importing. And now I'm just rambling. I, I did warn you that this was gonna be a terrible tutorial. So um, stay tuned for the next tutorial where I'll teach you a lot about just nothing. <laughs>